Which is better, the Vera Bradley bag or the lug bag? Stay tuned and see which one I pick. Hi, Grandma Bev here from Life with Grandma Bev and welcome back to my channel. Now, you know, one of my loves is travel. How can, how can you tell? <laughs> and uh, today I'm going to show you two different bags. They are carry-on bags. And I'm going to go over which ones, have, you know, the pros and cons of which bag and, and which bag I prefer to use. So let's get started. First off, let's start with the, oh, the lug. The lug. <laughs> it's heavy because <laughs> it's got stuff in it. So this is pretty bag. And this one is called, let's see, I got my notes here. Notes. This is the Ranger. And they call it crossbody because you also have this strap. I've never used this strap. I use this. But we'll start on the outside. It's got this nice zipper front. Now, look at that. You don't even have to carry a wallet. You can put all your your credit cards or things in there. This one's a, <laughs> a full one across. There's a zipper pouch on this side. And they also have a place to hook your keys, which this could come in handy. Because, you know, a lot of times Bob hands me the keys <laughs> for the car once we parked it and stuff to put in my bag. <laughs> and I don't want to carry it in my purse. It adds weight, you know, for when I'm going on excursions or things. So this comes in handy. And oh, and then once, you know, me and my, once we get back, I gotta stop and remember, where did I put those keys? <laughs> this way you can just hook them on there. I'm gonna stuck right down in that bag. Okay, so then this right here above it is a kind of a felt line little pouch. And my cell phone and passports fit right in there. So they're handy right from the outside because we put our boarding passes on our phone and stuff. And uh, it's easy just to, you know, show it when they want it. And then let's go back to the other side. Another zipper area. This is where it comes in handy sometimes to put my, <laughs> my, uh, what do you call it, iPad in. So it's handy to reach. Like when we get on the plane, I, I like to take out what I think I'm going to use. And uh, it's handy to have it there. Then on each side, there's a little, with a, uh, it's got little snaps in. You can put something down in there. Like you, can't, you can't really tell, can you? Um, put a drink, water bottle. Make sure you don't have anything in the water bottle until after you get through TSA. And it's the same with the other side. Same kind of pocket. The little magnet closure. This is the uh, one that goes across, you know, if you want to. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just your, your regular padded shoulder, arm, hands, whatever. Okay, then we've got the main body of it. You can zip it from you know, just the one side. Now, you can see I got a lot of stuff because we bought that from a trip. I just leave a lot of my travel stuff in the bags. <laughs> so, in here, there's one, one big. Now, my, uh, my iPad could fit in there. Yeah, a lot of things could fit in there. And the, on the other side, it's got a clear plastic zip bag. And two, can you see them? Pouch bags. And the rest is one big thing. Now, I fit a lot of stuff in my bags. <laughs> you know, like here's the, the lug trolley thing with a lot of my toiletries in it. Here's the one that I have to pull out when it's, uh, you know, time to show the liquids. So I've just got a lot, a lot of different various bags down in here for when I travel. So it's uh, really, let me show you how deep, really deep and wide. So, and I love the color on this. So 
So this is one that I would use. And I used this when we went on our riverboat cruise in, um, when did we go? End of July, early August. Oh, and the bottom, I should show you, it's got the little stand up and the plastic so this doesn't sit on anything icky. So that regular price is $75 on the lug site. Now, I didn't pay that for this. I got it off of uh, QVC and it was a lot lower a couple of years ago. So I don't remember what to pay, but you know, <laughs> I try to buy these things when they're on a bargain. So that's the lug. Oh, and it's also got Velcro in the back here. Nice big fit over your suitcase handle. Okay, that's the lug. And I have this Vera Bradley. <laughs> kind of reminds me of carpet bags from years and years ago that people used to use. <laughs> now I've had this one for quite a few years. And I picked this color because I love purple and it has purple in it, you know, and my luggage is, is purple. <laughs> but if I wanted to go back to blue, it's got blues, it's got navy, all kinds of colors. Okay, so this outside pocket is a good size one. I mean, look at that. Look at that. I can fit my iPad in there easily and a book. The other side has got room for, it's not quite as tight, but the uh, trolley sleeve. It's kind of tight for my luggage that I have now. And that's all there is on this on the outside. But on the inside, I mean, I say I've, I've got all kinds of stuff still in there. Let me pull some of that out. Now this is what I slide my uh, iPad into. This is the travel on. <laughs> travel on the world for world travel essentials. You put your iPad in there so that uh, when you get on a plane, I take it out and I slide it in that back seat thing. And my iPhone isn't, or iPad, my pad isn't sitting in that dirty, you know, stinky thing. There's room in here like I fit a book because, you know, my iPad and my book are what always comes out. You know, another big zipper. So, being that's here, I would show that to you. And, let's see. Of course, I got a pair of shoes laying in here. <laughs> They're the ones I take on my trip. Inside, it's got several side pockets, as you can see. On each side, there's three on one, two on the other, and then it's very wide. Let me show you. Well, from the bottom, it's probably easier to tell. That's pretty wide. Now, I like to carry this one. Well, this is one of the things I put in my inside little pockets, because I always put my meds and stuff counted out in this little handy thing that my daughter made me. <laughs> So that's always in there. Let's put the shoes back in. Because this stuff has to be stored out, outside of the motorhome while we're down here. So, you know, I put, I have to get my purse in here too. So that when I get on the plane, if we're doing just carry on, then it looks like I have two things. Now, I use this one because it's a little bigger when I'm going to bring my CPAP machine. I guess I'm one of those that uses a CPAP machine. But this is the lug trolley, the big one. I can fit my machine part down in here and the plugs and everything in there. Now, the hose I put it just in my other carry-on thing, but you know, you don't want to lose your, <laughs> your machine part because that's expensive. And there's a zipper area out here to put like a... Uh, cords or things, you know. I put, I always bring like an extension cord, you can fit that in the end. So this fits just right down inside the bag on the bottom. 
Now, granted, it makes it pretty heavy, <laughs> but the other option is the bag they give you, which is like, you know, like this big, hard kind of bag. Now, I don't want to be lugging that all around the airport with me on top of carrying, having one of these and you know, my, my rolling on carry on suitcase. So which is my favorite? It depends. <laughs> it depends on the trip. Now, Hawaii, I took my CPAP, so I brought this one. And this one sometimes, I, I think, fits better under the seat in front of me. For the other trips, I took this one, because I didn't bring my machine. And well, when I went to the doctor right before I left, she got after me. <laughs> so, that's why I say, it just, it depends. It depends on how long I'm going to be gone. If it's a short trip, I'll take the, uh, the lug, because I'll go a few days without the machine. But if it's a long one... So, and Bob's got <laughs> one just like this, but it's in like a, a light brown, you know, because it's embarrassed when I was having to carry my, my Vera ones. <laughs> you know, not his style. So, uh, he's got his like that too. He, he loves his lug. He's a lug nut also. <laughs> so, um, what else can I tell you about these things? Uh... Not really a whole lot more. Of course, removable straps on uh, on both of them, you know, because uh, the Vera has the over-the-shoulder also. So I love them both, and I have used them many times, and they are still just like new. Now, I can wash them both, too. That's the nice part. Wash them in cold water, like gentle cycle, and then I just kind of hang them to dry, you know, so... Very versatile. I love my bags. I cannot choose between either one. <laughs> I could say, depends on the trip. So, and the Vera bag, I don't, bag, brag, the Vera bag, <laughs> I don't remember what I paid for. I bought it, like I say, so many years ago. And they, they've changed them a little. You know, I've added uh, little side things for drinks and that kind of stuff, but I'm not going to buy another one when I have this one, and I've got, I got this same bag in another pattern. <laughs> yeah, so, so I've actually got three carry-on bags to choose from. So, what do you think? Hmm? The big answer to the question is either one. Both good. Both have their good features. So please comment below. Share, like, and subscribe. I hope you all enjoyed this video. This is my travel month, as I've labeled it. So I'm trying to do a little bit more videos dealing with travel. So I hope you're having a good January. I love you all. Bye.